According to PBS, overall violent crime was down 15%, reflecting drops in every region, from 10% in the West to 19% in the Midwest, according to the FBI data released Monday. Property crime meanwhile decreased by 15%, according to the data trumpeted by President Joe Biden in a statement. Multiple people shot at a downtown food court. Police say three were wounded. The suspect also shot. Somebody like screamed like, there's a shooting, there's a shooter, like run. It comes even as the latest FBI crime stats show violent crime actually dropped dramatically during the first three months of the year after surging during the pandemic. Among the 72% of police agencies reporting to the FBI, murder down 26% nationwide compared to a year ago, rape down 25%, robbery down 17%. The city breakout in Chicago year to date, murders down 16 percent, D.C. down 24 percent, San Francisco down 38 percent, Philadelphia down 41 percent. Philly's police commissioner, Kevin Bethel. We have specific targeted areas of the city that have a large level of violence, and so we're really being very strategic. But not all cities are seeing improvement. Murders are up double digits in L.A., Baton Rouge, Kansas City, Orlando, Wichita, and Colorado Springs. In Pompano Beach, Florida, police and federal agents just wrapped up a six-week sweep targeting guns and drugs, arresting 132 suspects and confiscating dozens of weapons. We come out, we risk our lives, we chase down the bad people. In Washington today, President Biden hammered home his efforts to reduce gun violence, even as his own son was convicted of illegally buying a firearm. We don't want our kids to have the freedom to learn how to read and write in schools instead of learn how to duck and cover for God. Police departments say reducing violence often involves more cops on the street, tougher criminal sentences, addiction help, and jobs.